So this is a very short video to demonstrate the use of the motion trail tool in Maya. And this is a really handy little tool which can help us to smooth out a walk cycle or in this case a run cycle. And it's actually not uncommon when you're animating a run. And you can see with my run with Monty here that the the keyframes are kind of getting a little bit stuck at the back here, the sort of the back of the cycle. And if you look at how I'm animating it, the, it's just a little bit sticky back there and the path of action isn't very smooth. Uh, and the same is true with the left foot as well. But it's a little bit, it can be a little fiddly to eyeball this just by looking at it. But one really, really useful tool is the motion trail tool. And I'm going to show you now how that works. So the first thing we want to do is make sure we're in the animation menu up here. We want to uh, turn off select surface objects and then we want to make sure if we're going to do, let's say we're going to, um, uh, let's just turn off the treadmill layer for now and I'll also I'm going to, um, shall just turn on select surface objects for now and just create a layer to get rid of that. So I'm just going to go create layer BG and we'll just pop the ground plane in the BG just to get rid of it. Add selected objects and turn that off. So now we've got a, uh, a grid um, and a foot traveling backwards on an imaginary treadmill. So let's select that foot and let's make sure that we've got keyframes. We want keyframes on all the frames for this really to work. So let's keyframe at 11, 12. I mean, you don't have to, but in a, in a run cycle, this is going to help. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to, making sure that we're in the animation menu, we're going to go uh, visualize, create editable motion trail. And I'm going to open up the options box there. And we're going to make sure that show frame numbers is on. And da, 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 yeah, time slider, that's already all good. So create motion trail. And in order for the motion trail to show up, you need to have motion trails turned on here under show. So if I don't have motion trails turned off, if I turn it off there, they will disappear and they will be invisible and no use to you. But if I, I can just go and turn them on here and we can now see what this motion is looking like. And so you can see it's there's this rather nasty, uh, clunky shape to that trail, whereas what we want is a nice smooth arc. And actually without even um, uh, changing the feet, we can just go in and we can adjust these guys like this and just move these around to make the whole thing smoother and more attractive. So just by doing that, I can see already I'm going to get a smoother pattern. I know it's going to work better. And it does, right? Because we're now following the path of action. Remember, path of action is one of the 12 principles of animation. The more you have a nice smooth flow to that, the better your run cycle is going to go is going to be. And you can use this for run cycles, for walk cycles, for anything where you've got a path of action um, and where you're where you can see that there's something wrong with the motion, but you're having trouble diagnosing it. So that, in a nutshell, is the motion trail tool in Maya.